How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to talk to you about what it's going to take to fit a 35 spline axle shaft into your Ford 9 inch. So starting off with the axle. Um, this is a 35 spline uh, Curry Enterprises axle shaft. It's a cut to fit. It's uh, got about an inch cut off of it. I really like these axles. Um, this will be my first time running it but as far as experience goes um, with these guys I mean they've got a good reputation once it came in the box it was I mean it was dummy proof they already put the bearings and stuff halfway on with the retainer halfway on the collar and this already on so that I didn't forget this I did have to press it myself they give you an option where you um, you can have them press it for an extra extra fee but as far as um, out of the package goes it was it's a fantastic product um, I really like the fact that they they give you a dual bolt pattern on here for a Ford or a Chevy they also give you studs to come with it which I thought was an extra bonus um, what I really want to talk about is the the splinage on these cut to fits if you run a uh, if you run a narrowed axle like I do um, you might need to run some some cut to fit axle shafts uh, and the benefits of these is that even if you cut about, you know, if you cut nine and a quarter off or something like that, they can make it work with these axle shafts. You know, you cut the right length and you'll, and you'll be good. Um, you don't have to get that exact measurement of axle shaft or you're going to have a little over or a little under on the shaft length or, or pay a, a really handsome fee out of pocket to get some custom ones made for you. Um, these are hardened. Um, it was, I recommend a, some sort of carbide tooling to cut it, um, whether that be a bandsaw or um, having a, a cut off, um, a chop saw like I did with a carbide teeth on it. It cut it nice and smooth. I just had to take my time with it. It is solid, it's not hollow. Um, but as far as this axe shaft goes, I mean, I really, I really like this axe shaft the way they, um, they gave it to me out of the box. So if you do want to shorten your axle shaft, I recommend getting a narrowing guide. You're going to need one of these whether you get it from ICT or you get it from Mosier. Um, they're great handy little tools. They, they laser cut them. Um, you just stick your tape measure in there and they have instructions. It's already labeled passenger and driver. Um, if you need to, to figure out your, your pinion center, you can do all that. Uh, all you need is, uh, is four, four housing studs and um, you just stick your nuts on there and <laughs> and uh, just measure them out to your housing ends if they're already uh, welded on. If not, you could just you measure this out to find out where you'd like them. This is a handy, super handy little tool. I looked this up on Summit. This is $25. I think this is the best $25 you're gonna be spending on your axle as far as chopping it. Um, but getting into what you're gonna need to fit this thing, a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but it's, the reality of it. The reality of it is, see this is a, this is, this came out of my truck. Um, this is a open diff carrier. Um, I think it's got 350 something gears. Um, not what I'm looking for, but the, this is built for a 28 spline. Um, if you do anything but a 28 spline, you have to upgrade this and get a different uh, inner splineage for this. But for a 35 spline, it will not fit these bearings. Um, you cannot just get a new center cartridge. You have to get uh, a new center cartridge with new bearings, which also means that you need a new housing. Um, to run bigger bearings, you're going to have to either mill out your housing or you're going to have to uh, just get a new one, and the price of milling it out will probably cost you for a new one. So and it saves you the trouble of all of it. Um, not to say that running a, a, a 28 or a 30, 31 spline is bad. Um, just for the, the power and weight we're going to be pushing, it, it's just best to run a 35 for me. Um, if you are going from a 28 to a 31, which is a, is a good recommendation, um, you're just going to need the, the center section in here um, that would fit a 31 spline and the stock bearings will fit. Um, you can use the stock third member. Um, you can use your same ring and pinions, all of that if you go to a 31 spline. I, I recommend getting a, a chromoly shaft. Um, that's going to be your strongest and lightest route for these axles. Um, 
it really comes down to how hard you're launching off the line. If you got a trans brake, what's your weight looking like? How much power are you putting down to the ground? How much torque? Because uh, you can you can tear up some axle shafts, you know what I mean, with a trans brake. So, if you're just doing some street and strip though, I mean, feel free to just upgrade to a 31 spline with chromoly shafts. It'll be a, it'll be a really really good alternative to a 28 spline. And if you uh, if you already have a, a 31 spline set up in in something you, you pulled out already, whether it be a truck or a Mustang or something like that, um, then all you got to do is upgrade your axle shafts. That's it. Unless you're unless you're cutting, obviously you're you're playing with the housing at that point. But um, but that'll be a good alternative for you. If you are going 35 spline, like I said, you're going to have to... This whole thing is trash. Um, I think you can reuse the, the, the ring and gear, or ring and pinion, if you already bought a ring and pinion. But, other than that, you are dead in the water if you tried to fit uh, 35 splines in in this setup. Uh, you're, you're not going to find a good bearing that's going to fit and handle the radial load of of the axle shaft and everything like that. So, but as far as that goes, I mean, if you are running a 31 spline um, and decide not to do 35 spline, uh, just a simple upgrade would be um, doing your pinion carrier and bearings. Uh, these stock ones on the stock housing uh, tend to, they tend to break and, and break themselves in half. Um, not saying they're not strong, but for the amount of power a lot of guys are pushing to these stock ones, they, they do break them. Um, so upgrading that, they do make them like billet, they make them with the same bolt holes. You can run, you can run just a, a new pinion carrier setup with your stock housing, um, and it'll work just fine. I do also recommend upgrading your yoke to a 3130 or a 3150, uh, just because, you know, that's going to be your weak point if you're launching hard is uh is running a 3110 uh off the line it'll it'll definitely blow up some u-joints but other than that i think that that covers it if you guys have any questions feel free to feel free to ask um i'll be going over my setup in another video um kind of what what went into shortening it and all that but if you were curious about uh if you could fit a 35 spline axle into your stock housing and what you'll need, um, the answer is going to be no for the for the stock stuff. You are going to need a, a bigger third member with bigger main caps uh, and bearings, which uh, is sad to, for a lot of you guys. But I do. I, if a serious alternative is is really just sticking with 31 splines with chromoly shafts. If if you're uh, if you're just doing some street and strip. If you're going that route and you're you're breaking a lot of 31 spline axles, then then I think it's time to upgrade. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you quite need a, a 41 spline versus a 35 spline, but uh, a 35 spline you definitely start digging into the roots a lot more in this thing. But you can also use your stock axle housing. Um, as far as that goes, you just you're just gonna want some uh, beefier housing ends, and I'll get into that in the in another video but i hope this helped you guys um i will catch you guys on the next one